The new iPhone 7 is water resistant, but an IP rating of 67 doesn't make it completely waterproof. In fact, Apple's warranty still won't cover water damage. So spills and splashes may be okay, but anything past that will be at your own risk. Or, in this case, ours. If you've already seen our scratch test, you may recognize this guy. This is an iPhone 7 that has already been through a little bit of torture, but we took it to the Apple store and they confirmed it is only cosmetic damage and that it wouldn't affect the water resistance. So let's test Apple's actual claim that this thing has an IP67 rating. That should mean it can survive immersed in one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. So we just let this phone sit for about 15 minutes because when we first pulled it out of the water, we noticed a little issue with the speakers where they didn't sound very good. Now we're gonna run all of our tests and see how this looks. So far, you can see the screen looks great. Doesn't seem to have any issues with touch here. Got a home button that seems to be working the way it should. Volume up and down on the rockers are okay. And if I press this power button, that seems to work as well. Now if we go over to and place a little bit of music, we're gonna see how these speakers sound. Definitely got some volume again. It didn't have that the first time, but I'm only really hearing audio out of the bottom speakers. It's supposed to be stereo. Doesn't seem like it's dried enough to fix whatever the issue is with the top speaker. We're gonna see if this microphone can do some audio for us. So this is your iPhone. This is your iPhone on water. And uh, we can definitely see a waveform there indicating we're getting some audio in. Let's see how it sounds. This is your iPhone on water. Yep, we're definitely getting some audio out. It sounds a little bit staticky though, and I'm still getting nothing from the top speaker. So already we're running into a little bit of an issue. Apple recommends letting it dry out for at least five hours after it's been exposed to this much water. But we continued with some real world testing, starting with underwater photography. This is your iPhone. This is your iPhone on water. This is your iPhone. This is your iPhone on water. Up next, whoops, the dunk test. In case your phone happens to fall into the deep end. Your iPhone 7 on water. Your iPhone 7 on water. We haven't drowned it yet, so let's try the swim test. So obviously, we're not at the pool anymore. We're back in the office. I'm dry, the phone's dry, and it's had about 24 hours to recover. And while most everything seems to be back to working order, the speakers still aren't in their original condition. The volume's nice and loud again, but next to a pristine iPhone 7, the audio doesn't sound quite as rich. In fact, the high frequencies even sound a little bit jagged. But considering we tested this phone way beyond the rating, I'm actually impressed it's working at all. But your phone may not be as lucky, and speaker damage is definitely a possibility if you push it beyond the limits like we did today. So don't risk it. Never purposely submerge the iPhone 7. And if you happen to, by mistake, wait at least five hours for it to completely dry before you plug it in again. <laughs>